Hello, my name is Teacher Zach. Today, we are going to do two things. Number one, we are going to have a story. I will be telling you a story. I hope you like it. Number two, your class will be doing an activity. I hope you enjoy the activity. Let's get started with our story. Hello. Today's story is the Sly Rabbit. Okay? Rabbit, this is my rabbit bushy tail. Oh, it makes it smile. Little nose. There is my rabbit. Okay. Sly means that the rabbit is very smart. Very smart. Okay. A little tricky, but very smart. A sly rabbit. I hope you like this one. The story starts at night. At night, there are some stars that come out, and there is a moon. This is the moon. At night, there is a rabbit. Cute little rabbit, bushy tail. Like, the rabbit walks down to the water, to a lake. Lake is a lot of water. Okay. The rabbit walks down to the lake. And at the lake, the rabbit has a drink. Okay. The rabbit is having a drink, and behind the rabbit comes a tiger. Ooh, scary tiger. Very large tiger. The tiger is very hungry. Very hungry. And this is a tiger. Now, the tiger is hungry, and the tiger wants to eat. Wants to eat the rabbit. Loves to eat. The tiger starts to sneak up on the rabbit. Right? Starts to sneak up on the rabbit. And the rabbit turns. Oh, wow. See, the tiger coming to eat it. Now, the rabbit, remember the rabbit is smart, the rabbit is sly, very smart. So the rabbit oh, gets an idea, it's an idea. The rabbit says to the tiger, says, do not eat me, right? do not eat me, no, no, do not eat me, the rabbit says, I am very small. I am small. You are hungry. You are very hungry. I am small. The rabbit says to the tiger, you should eat something big. Eat something big. The rabbit looks and looks in to the lake into the water, and the rabbit sees a big moon. Right? The rabbit sees a reflection. A reflection. He's looking into the water and he sees the reflection of the moon. Right? But the rabbit is very smart, very sly. So the rabbit says to the tiger, he says, look, in the water, in the lake, is a big, big piece of cheese. Oh, very good. Big piece of cheese. 
The rabbit says, Tiger, you should eat the cheese. Delicious, so good. The tiger says, he said, oh, oh, I love cheese. I love cheese. So the tiger walks up to the water. The tiger goes to the water. Here is my tiger. Happy tiger. Oh, very good. Remember the tiger loves cheese. Oh, he sees the cheese. The tiger. Oh, so hungry. Very good. And the rabbit, the smart, the sly rabbit, comes pushing tail. The rabbit comes behind the tiger. And the rabbit takes his foot, his foot, and the rabbit kicks, kicks, kicks the tiger, and the tiger goes into the lake, into the water, and the rabbit goes home. Goes home. He is safe. Here's the rabbit. Cute little rabbit. The end. I hope you liked this story. Next, we will have an end too. Today's activity, we are going to take the story the sly rabbit and we are going to make a comic strip teachers in the description below this video there is a file that you can print out for your students the file looks just like this it is perfect for making a comic strip students when you have your comic strip be sure to put a number in the top corner of each block before you get started. Once you have your blocks numbered, we can get started making our comic strip. In my first block, I decided to draw the rabbit, the water, the stars, and the moon. I wrote, one night, rabbit goes to drink water. Now that we have finished block number one, students, please continue to work on blocks number two, three, four, and five. After you are finished, we can come back and compare your comic strip and my comic strip. Teachers, please pause the video now to allow your students time to finish. In block number two, I decided to show the tiger seeing the rabbit. I drew a rabbit, a tiger, the moon, the stars, and some water. I also wrote, tiger sees rabbit. In block number three, I chose to show the rabbit seeing the reflection of the moon. Rabbit says, do not eat me. Eat the cheese. In block four, I showed the tiger seeing the cheese and saying, I love cheese. In my last box, box number five, I drew the rabbit kicking the tiger into the water. You can see I used speech bubbles to show the rabbit laughing, ha ha, and the tiger getting hurt, ouch. Here is my finished comic strip. I am so excited to see some of your comic strips. So teachers, please take a picture of some of the students' finished work 
and put the picture in the comments below this video. Be sure to write the name of your school. Thank you, and I can't wait to see you for our next story.